What's up model car mechanics? Have you ever been to a hobby shop and you saw a model car, but you really wanted to know what was inside the box before you bought it? Today I'm going to open up a really rare old model kit and show you what's inside the John Travolta's Fever Firebird by Ravel. And if you stick to the end of this video, I will show you a great model car tip that will make your models look magnificent. And I'd like to thank my good friend James for the loan of this model kit. And now let's go down to the bench and see what's in the box. So if you remember a few weeks ago, we started unboxing 1979 cars with a Italian car. This time around, we're going to unbox an American car with an Italian American actor. This is John Travolta's Firebird Fever car from 1979, built by our good friend George Barris. On this side of the box, we get some more amazing details about John Travolta's Firebird Fever car. It is a custom design by George Barris. This is a detailed model, just like John Travolta's real car. Detailed Pontiac 455 cubic inch engine. Custom interior with Ricardo seats. Custom flared fenders. Race mark steering wheel. T-roof with tinted panels. Colorful fever decals. Opening shaker hood, rear whale tail spoiler, custom instrument panel, hooker side pipes, and real rubber Firestone SS radial tires. On this side of the box, we get further details and the backstory of John Travolta's Firebird Fever car. And we get our instructions in English, Swedish, German, French, Dutch, and Italian. Now let's open the lid on John Travolta's Firebird Fever car and check out just how amazing this was for a model kit back in 1979. Inside the box we have our Travolta Fever Firebird instructions with the decal sheet inside which we can look at at the end of the video and then we've got those nice smoke tinted windows in a plastic bag and all our gray components. And then at the bottom, these are our tires. Our instruction sheets are again the great big fold-out style. These are the different symbols for how to build your model. And a little bit of instructions on our decal sheet. Boy, I could almost just pick this out right now as it is. We've got a two-piece engine with the engine block and the rear transmission molded as one piece. And then in a typical old Johan type style, we have our cylinder heads, intake manifold, carburetor, and distributor, which pop on top of the block. Then here we have our chrome valve covers dropping in place. We've got our chrome air cleaner dropping on top of our carburetor. And then here we've got our fan belts, pulleys, and alternator with the fan popping in place. The entire engine pops up into the chassis from below. And then there's a brace that goes over the rear of the transmission. Panels 9, 10, 11, and 12 show more of our car going together. Here we've got the hitters that hook into the engine block. And then we've got our lower A arms as well as our discs and front axle, which pop onto the chassis there. Our differential includes the leaf springs and the drive shaft, which match to the end of the transmission. And then our wheels are very straightforward. You get the outer and inner, and then you squish them into the tires, and you do this assembly four times. Panel 14 shows the front wheels clipping into place and the rear wheels in panel 15. Now you got to make sure you scrape the seam lines off the axle so that when these pop in place they are free rolling. Here's our side pipes in two pieces which glue together top and bottom. There they go onto the chassis and there's the one for the opposite side. Panel 19 shows the installation of that side pipe. Panel 20 shows our seat front and our seat back gluing together. You do this twice, then you drop both of the front bucket seats into the interior tub and drop the shifter into place. Then we've got our nice dashboard and steering wheel which glue all together here. When you get into panel 24, the dashboard drops into place into our tub. The tub then drops onto our chassis. Our radiator wall and support go into here. And then we've got a top cover, which is pretty rare in model kits, but that goes onto the front. Panel 28 shows our glass going in from underneath. Panel 29 shows our T-tops being put in place, which you do not glue. Here we have our side mirrors in panel 30, left hand and right hand side, and then the entire body drops down onto the chassis, 
And then in panel 33, we glue on the nose to this great model. Every great car needs a great set of headlamps, so here's four of them going into our front bumper. There's our side scoops going on in panel 35 and 36. Our little shaker scoop gets glued to the bottom of our hood. So that's in panel 37. Panel 38 shows that whale tail spoiler going onto the trunk lid and our rear bumper. There's the license plate decal there. And panel 39 shows our decals being put onto the car. And there's the finished result in panel 40. Here's the body on John Travolta's Firebird. And this is molded in a metallic silver. The problem with molding metallic silver plastic, as you can see here, is that there is a nice sort of a discoloration line that runs up through the center of the body, which is not very cool. So if you get this kit, make sure you actually sand it down and paint it silver over top of this silver plastic. There are mold marks up underneath, but overall the general mold on this is quite smooth. And we do get some really great door handles on there. Most of the components you glue on the sides afterwards. Under the hood there are some nice wiring and detail which goes in here. But again this drops all the way down to the bottom like the battery. So you know this is more or less a monogram or early type Ravel body. But overall very nicely done and very simplistic. Our next parts tree shows the chassis, the seat backs, the front suspension, the top of the engine, the fan belts and pulleys, the backs of the wheels, and our dashboard. You know what? I'm looking at this kit and I realize that I actually had this as a kid. Although it wasn't the Travolta issue, it was a later edition that came molded in red plastic and is one of the actual first models that I actually owned. Now, look at that dashboard. Again, it looks very nice for what it is. The uh, Pontiac, of course. Nice details, a bit soft on all the instruments and whatnot. Turning the chassis over, you can see all the nice detail. There's the gas tank out back. Look at the nice floor pan detail. There's our engine block, the top half molded as one piece, with our intake manifold, carburetor distributor, and valves, or cylinder heads, actually. Again, very simple underneath for the suspension. You get both upper and lower A-arms. Again, clicks together very nice. Very good for, an, for a beginner and a wonderful model. Here we have our 1979 Pontiac 455 cubic inch engine. And look at how great the detailing is on this. Very excellent, very crisp. There's our steering wheel. Now, I did say that we had chrome valve covers, but actually they're gray plastic. Again, silver gray. So you'll either have to paint them or use some bare metal foil or something like that on there to get the chrome. There's our fan, the aluminum style, our rear axle with the leaf springs, then our side pipes and that front hood latch catch. Looking at our interior bucket, again, very simplistic, but the detail on there is crisp again and very nice. There are mold marks quite a bit. There's uh, five per bucket. So, 10 all together. If you can scrape them out with your hobby knife, all the better. Maybe scrape them out and then put in some flocking in here so you have some real Travolta style interior. There's our speaker at the back and again, mold marks on the package shelf. So, not the greatest, but you can overcome them with a little bit of elbow grease. Our next set of gray components includes the snap-on wheels, the air cleaner, and our side vents, there's the scoop that goes up into the hood. And here we have our front and our rear and our whale tail. So let's take a look at how great these parts are. Again, nice detailing in here. You get the Pontiac emblem. The uh, back tail lamps are all the way across. So that's a definite Barris customizing feature. Underneath the hood, very smooth, but again, a lot of mold marks and irregularities, which need to be straightened out. Same with under the whale tail. But overall, for a simplistic type kit, this one is amazing. Here we have our bucket seats, which again are quite nice. There's our exhaust manifolds and our drive shaft. And loose in the box was our radiator and rad support with our little shield on the top. And again, very nicely done. The uh, detailing in is quite crisp in here. Looks like a real radiator. Some sink marks you got to deal with. Overall, excellent. 
Look at the nice detailing in those Ricardo seats. Very beautifully done. Seat backs are on the other parts tree. And again, excellent work. Now it wouldn't be the 70s without smoked glass for your car. There we have our rear window and our two T-tops and our front windshield. And we have our four headlights right there. The whole car rides on these really awesome looking Firestone SS radial tires. Again, they have a very nice tread and they are really squishy. Supposedly made out of real Firestone rubber. Here we have the decal sheet for John Travolta's Firebird Fever car. And look at how crisp the colors are. This is amazing considering this decal sheet is over 41 years old. Look at the nice registration on here. Hasn't even faded or discolored or anything. Awesome stuff. Now we couldn't make a video about John Travolta's car without spinning a disco ball. Now if you've built this model kit in the past, let us know how you liked it in the comments section down below. And if you'd like, please share your photos over on our Facebook page. I hope you found this video very helpful for your next model car purchase. Now, as promised, this video right here will show you a really cool technique that you can apply to your model cars. And if you want to see what model cars that you can buy from me today, check out this link right down here. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that video and we'll see you on the next one.